Ukraine's president has called for comprehensive peace talks with Russia without delay. Volodymyr Zelensky also accused Russian troops of causing a humanitarian disaster in the besieged city of Mariupol. Well, the mayor of that strategically important port city says street fighting is hampering efforts to rescue hundreds of people trapped inside the basement of a theatre that officials say was bombed by Russia on Wednesday. Our correspondent Jonah Fisher has sent this report. Mariupol is Russia's warning to the rest of Ukraine. For more than two weeks, this city of several hundred thousand has resisted. Russia's response has been to surround it and destroy it. Local officials say more than 2,000 people have died and 90% of the buildings have been damaged in some way. In Kharkiv, it's a similar story. In the first few days of this war, the Russians tried to drive into Ukraine's second city. They were repelled and now Kharkiv is being targeted by shelling. Incredibly, this man emerged almost unscathed after a university building was hit. There were two strikes, Vladislav says. The second one was above us and I fell down and covered my head. I was lucky the wall came down in a way that didn't crush me. Russia is making very little progress on the ground, so its tactic now appears to be one of fear. By targeting and destroying Mariupol and Kharkiv by artillery and airstrikes, it's sending a very powerful message to the rest of Ukraine. This could happen to you too. Ukraine's president knows things could get much worse and in a late night video appealed yet again for Russia to seriously talk peace. We have always insisted on negotiations. We have always offered dialogue, offered solutions for peace, not just for 23 days of invasion. And I want everyone to hear me now, especially in Moscow. It's time to meet, time to talk. It is time to restore territorial integrity and justice for Ukraine. At Ukraine's borders with the European Union, people keep on leaving. This group crossed today into Romania. The United Nations says six and a half million people are displaced inside the country. President Putin's liberation war has now driven a quarter of all Ukrainians from their homes. Jonah Fisher, BBC News, Lviv. Well, as we've been seeing and hearing, Russia has been besieging Mariupol for weeks now as it tries to cement control of a land route to annexed Crimea. Where refugees fleeing the violence there have been telling stories of how they actually escaped from the heavily shelled city. On the 12th, 13th and the 14th there were constant airstrikes. We were all sitting in the cellar from explosions in houses nearby, the windows were shattered. The residents went to their cellars. Those who could do so left the city, but a lot of cars were bombed and they burned down, so those people couldn't leave. There were lots of people dying in the streets. Dead bodies were lying in the streets. There is no Mariupol. We sat in the cellar for 10 days and did not leave once. We neither had water or electricity. It was good that in the neighbor's yard we had access to a bomb shelter, well, cellar. I wouldn't really call it a bomb shelter. I'm an English language teacher. I really miss my children, those that I taught, and I can't imagine what to do now. Well, just uh, some of the people that have managed to actually get out of Mariupol, 300,000 still trapped in that city. Well, just a short time ago, I spoke to the UK-based Anton Levitskyushkin, whose uh, family has managed to actually get out of Mariupol. He hadn't been able to actually reach his twin sister for 11 straight days. Well, I asked him when I spoke to him what his sister had told him about what it had been like in Mariupol. She said it was absolutely horrible. Uh like yeah start with the fact that they've been for like two or three weeks now with no electricity water uh heating nothing uh, food was running out and in the end she's scared she was more afraid of uh, uh hunger than actually being shelled but the shelling never stopped uh since since the beginning of march and on the mm, street that ended up uh the nearby houses, all of them were destroyed and only their house luckily survived. And that house was her third place she was hiding uh, from the start of the war.
Well, that is uh, the situation in Mariupol. Let me take you a different part of Ukraine and show you the pictures that have come into us of a rescue operation after a military barracks was hit in the southern city of Mykolaiv. Dozens of people have been killed. That strike about 36 hours ago. A military spokesman has said that the final toll is still unknown as rescuers and soldiers, you can see them here, still going through the rubble, pulling out bodies as well as survivors. We know uh, many, many people have been taken to hospital, but to reports on the ground talking about dozens of people who have been killed in this one of Russia's latest attacks uh, on a military base in Ukraine.